Tell me if this sounds familiar. It's been a while since you played Rocket League, and perhaps randomly, you decide to reinstall the game, maybe with some friends. You jump into some casual or even competitive matches, and the game feels fresh, but more importantly, you're enjoying the game. You start playing more often, and begin climbing the competitive ladder. And while it's pretty smooth sailing for the first few weeks, the higher you climb, the more difficult your opponents become. And your excitement for the game slowly begins to shrink. With each match, you realize how how out of place you truly are. You don't belong, but you tell yourself you'll be satisfied just as soon as you reach that next rank. And while you win some games, you lose most. And worst of all, you're not progressing. Almost every player has encountered this, especially the best in the world. When the game becomes repetitive, mundane, and stale, boredom is inevitable. This occurs when you reach a peak in the progression or learning curve. I like to think about it like a mountain. Initially, it's steep. However, most players manage to reach at least one of the curve's many peaks, but for every peak, there's a plateau. And sadly, it's at this place that most players become too comfortable and stop challenging themselves. So how do we solve this issue or even prevent it altogether? As plateaus are a natural part of progression, I don't believe it's possible to avoid them completely. However, I would like to share a few different approaches that I have found helpful since I started all the way back in 2015. But before we get to that, it's important we understand why plateaus actually aren't your fault. It's actually your teammates. Think for a second if there was no competitive with its ranks or rocket pass with its tiers, none of it. Without any tangible way to measure your progress, would you be as committed to invest countless hours into the game? I don't want to get too abstract, so I'll simplify this down to two motivational philosophies forming Rocket League's system of progression. The first is extrinsic, playing or practicing to reach a specific rank, for example. Maybe to join a team and compete in tournaments, or simply just to flex on friends and family. Take all those external factors away, and you're left with intrinsic. Think of this as an internal desire, simply playing or practicing to reach your personal potential. Usually these philosophies overlap, coexisting in a balance, so to speak. But thanks to the gaming landscape we live in today, it's easier than ever to become fixated on on just the external result. Going back to the mountain analogy, oftentimes it's almost like we want to teleport to the top and forgo the process of actually getting there. And this is how we find ourselves in a state of misery and ultimately plateau. So the process is rather counterintuitive. Moving forward first requires stepping backwards. Try another game mode that though it may not be your first choice, is something fresh. You know that old saying about insanity, repeatedly doing the same thing and expecting different results? Well, it totally applies here too. In the back of your mind are probably all those things you know you should be doing, training packs or workshop maps, but have been avoiding in search of the quickest hit of dopamine by simply queuing up the next match and forgetting about it. The solution will vary from player to player, so there's no one size fits all answer. Keeping an open mind will allow you to change things up and find what works for you. If you're competitive like me, try asking yourself how would I be spending my time if I was the best player in the world? You ask any professional player, how do I get better? And they'll all give you the same answer. Just play the game. But it comes down to how you play. The pros you see on stage didn't reach their level of skill by merely queuing more matches than you. They can't become stagnant. Whether it's sharpening their mechanics or studying their replays, they are intentionally moving towards their goals on a consistent basis. If anyone knows about Rocket League and regularly challenging themselves, how about the pro player who's been there since the beginning, Garrett G. I remember watching one of his interviews a few years back following his loss in a major tournament. I couldn't find the exact interview, but I just remember the interviewer asked him how he was feeling after losing, and his answer has always stuck with me. He said the loss actually excited him, because it meant there was still more to learn. It's like everyone says, enjoy the process. So regardless of whether you play the game competitively or casually, all of us struggle to maintain that initial excitement we felt when we first launched the game. While maybe that wait, sense wait, wait, of novelty wait, 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 wait. can never truly be recaptured, I think it's important to realize that oftentimes our own complacency hinders our process when climbing the mountain that is progression, thus leaving us stuck in a state of plateau. But we're not all to blame. In this modern era of gaming, developers have become adept in manipulating our attention, exploiting it for their benefit. As a result, people are miserably subjecting themselves to a game they have long since fallen out of love with. Which makes me sad, because I've done that myself 
and it's not fun. So maybe it's time to make a significant change in your approach or taking a break altogether. Both are valid options. Letting go of something to which you've committed a large portion of your life can be scary. Just remember, circumstances change and so do people. Whether you're navigating a virtual mountain or the real one, just remember to embrace challenges and enjoy the process. Okay, I'll say it. It's your teammate's fault. Yep.